As an English writing teacher, I'm always looking for ways to get my students interested in writing. And um, one thing that is true, they all carry their iPads and their iPhones and their Android phones, whatever around with them. So um, I require a journal entry as, as part of my writing class. So this new, this new uh, web, website here called penzu.com is something that can be used to get them interested in making journal entries. Obviously it's all online, no more writing down in a book and bringing that to class. They can just do it all in one place and then send it to me via email or other ways which I'll show you in a little bit. So that's why I selected this because I wanted you know to find a fun way for them to do it and in a different way, in an easier way. Uh, the purpose or the goals for this is firstly they have to write uh, English. Uh, I teach Korean students, so having them write in English in a journal is very important. So, uh, finding a new way to do that would be would be good. And secondly, I want them to uh, collaborate with students from around the world, and this will allow them to do that. The intended audience for this are my students, and obviously it could be used for teachers as well. And it's something that I'm going to continue to use because I really like it. Uh, it's something uh, I can keep this as I travel around the world, and I'm never going to lose it. And it's always saved and backed up. Uh, ISTE standards that I am dealing with on this one are twofold, both underneath the student section, and they are number 2A. And this is talking about collaborating with peers. Uh, that's one of my goals for this one is to not only have them share their journal entries with me and each other, but also with students from around the world. Another ISTE standard would be 2C right here. This would be develop cultural understanding and global awareness by engaging with learners of other cultures again collaborating with students from around the world so I saw 2A and 2B underneath communication and collaboration as being two major ones so if we go back to the diary how to do this very very simple this is probably the easiest one that I'm doing out of all five uh, you have to go through the normal steps of setting up your account it's free um, everything's very simple you go through you get you sign up uh, through a password and so forth and then you get a page that looks like this and then you have a journal mine's called Dave's journal and you can just click there and what it's going to do is take you into your uh, first page of your journal and I wrote this one earlier so I wouldn't have to retype it I wrote my summer vacation and then you can just write something about the vacation here and then you would just go up here and hit the save button which I've already done as you can see here it says saved and then there's all kinds of tools here. Now the big one that I would be looking for is the share one here. So you can actually hit this button, which I'm not going to do, but you can actually share this. Then, well, I guess it's not going to hurt for me to hit it. You can share it. They will have to, of course, email me their journal entries on a daily basis or a weekly basis uh, so I can look at them. But they, they could also share with each other. And I saw this right down here. You can share it as an anonymous person which means that I could get feedback via this method as well from my students without them being worried about being identified as the source of the feedback. So uh, this could be used for that as well. Now a new entry you would just hit uh, plus just to show you what it's going to look like. You would hit um, plus I guess not. There it goes. Right and then you can just see how it works here. You just you, you put in your title Right, FFF, and then you go down, you just type some stuff there. And I think it actually does show that it saves it. But I hit the save button here just to make sure. But it looks like it saves it. And all your entries then will be listed underneath this tab. And you can see I've got two now right here. And you can easily go through and delete them and then do whatever you want with them. So, um, pretty cool. Penzu is easy, uh, it's very simple, but I think effective, especially for a writing teacher. Thanks.